What's up, y'all? So today, I want to talk about dietary guidelines and how to read labels. So, when you first get introduced to a vegan diet, you may be overwhelmed like, oh, that's, that's a lot of stuff to remember or that's a lot of restrictions. But I'm about to break it down for y'all, make it a little easier, make it a little simpler, so that when you go to the grocery store, you have no excuses. No excuses whatsoever not to buy healthy food that's healthy for your body, healthy for the planet, and most importantly, doesn't kill any animals or doesn't involve any animal cruelty. So, number one, when you're going to the grocery store, the first main tip is to, you know, everybody always says it, stick to the damn perimeters. But the perimeters is where all the dairy, the meat, and of course the produce is. So I like to say stick to the immediate perimeter right inside the door because usually the produce is right, it's on the perimeter, but it's also very close to the door. So don't go to the back of the store, unless that's where the produce is, of course. Come on, y'all, use some fucking common sense. But when you get to the grocery store, the things that you need to keep an eye out for is the motherfucking labels. So anything you buy that has a label, you should be reading it. You should be seeing what's in that product. You should be seeing the nutrition facts for that product. And that should determine whether that's something you want to put into your body. Whether that's something you want to spend your hard-earned money on. Which is a vote towards what you believe in. So, when it gets down to going to the grocery store, picking out products, always read the label. It's fucking simple, y'all. They teach you that shit in, what, first grade how to read? Kindergarten how to read? Fucking use those same principles to read fucking food labels. So, when I'm looking at a food label, there's three main things that I'm looking at. The first thing is, does it contain any animal products? This means, does it have fish? Does it have any kind of dairy, milk, cheese? You know, does it have any products that came from an animal? If not, that's a check. On to the next thing. The next thing that I look at when on a label, number two, is I look at the ingredients. So, the big thing about the ingredients is the least amount of ingredients, the better. So, a product with like three ingredients. So, we got this peanut butter powder here. Peanut butter powder. And this has three ingredients in it. It's got organic peanut flour, organic coconut sugar, and sea salt. So, three ingredients. I know what all these ingredients are. You know, it ain't no fucking guapo jabu jabu ya. You know, something I can't even pronounce yet again, even understand what the hell it is. So, when you're looking at the ingredients list, the fewer the ingredients, the better. You want to make sure that you know what all the ingredients are. If there's an ingredient in the ingredient list that you don't know what it is, why the fuck do you want to be eating it? Think about that. If you don't know what the fuck you're putting in your body, why the fuck you want to be eating it? I don't know. Some people choose to. That's their choice. Everybody's got a fucking choice. But as far as things like tomato sauce, this has a lot more ingredients, but they're all whole foods. So this tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, has tomato puree, tomatoes and juice, onion, garlic puree, garlic, sugar, sea salt, olive oil, citric acid, oregano, black pepper. See, I know what all those things are. So it's a lot of ingredients, but they're all whole foods, and I know exactly what all these ingredients are. I mean, I can make my own damn spaghetti sauce if I wanted to, but I always keep spaghetti sauce on deck for when I get lazy or don't have any fresh tomatoes to make tomato sauce with. Another ingredient, let's see what we got here. We got some motherfucking blue tortilla chips. And people are like, oh, those, those ain't raw. Yeah, but they vegan, man. We gotta make this whole vegan thing as easy for people as possible. You know, that's the reason that people get turned off from veganism. They see all these crazy motherfuckers with all these restrictions. But now nah, we gotta simplify it. Need to fucking simplify it. So in these, we got organic blue corn, corolla oil, tomato powder, rice flour, salt, paprika, and spices, onion, 
And there you have it. Whole foods, y'all. Whole foods. Corn. Corn is maize. Maize. Corn. Couscous. Whatever you want to fucking call it. It's vegan, y'all. But always check the ingredients. I got some of the sweet potato chips. Uh, this Garden of Eden sweet potato tortilla chips. And they tricked me. They fucking had a, a milk powder in there. And I ate a whole fucking bag of them chips once. Dummy me, I didn't fucking read the label. And I learned my fucking lesson. Fucking always read the fucking label, y'all. It's a fucking label. Fucking ingredients. This shit ain't that hard. So the number three thing when you're looking at ingredients is to look at the nutritional facts on the back. This is where, you know, it'll say how many calories per serving, how, many, how much fat, how much sodium per serving. Now, when I'm looking at the nutritional list, the main things that I'm looking for is low fat and low sodium, high carbohydrate. So let's take these chips, for example. We got 11 chips per serving, 140 calories. You got 18 grams of carbohydrates per serving, 7 grams of fat per serving, and 0.5 grams of saturated fat. So, these chips are a little higher in fat than I would prefer, but these chips ain't something that I eat every day. These are kind of like a treat. You know, these are something that I eat maybe a couple times a week. You know, I make some dip. I gotta have some goddamn chips. So, you know, you just gotta weigh the options, y'all. If you wanna have a little more salt in your diet, try having a little more salt in your diet. If you wanna try having a little more fat in your diet, try having a little more fat in your diet. I've just found that the lower the fat, the lower the sodium, the more carbohydrates, the better I feel, the better I perform, better all around, y'all. Now, if you don't want to read labels, if you're too lazy to read labels, there's always another option for you. And that option is eat shit without labels. If you buy stuff without labels, then you don't got to read labels. These bananas, mm, the most thing they got on their label is Chiquita Banana. Chiquita Banana, motherfuckers. No labels. Bananas. If you want to know what bananas have in them, if you want to know the banana nutritional facts, you got to go fucking online. I can tell you right now that one of these bananas equals about 90 to 100 calories. High in carbohydrates. No cholesterol. Because did you all know that no, if you don't have animal products in your food, it ain't got no cholesterol. Cholesterol is only found in animal products. Meat, dairy, cheeses. Boom. Hits y'all with that one. No label. Look at that. It's a sweet potato, y'all. It's got dirt on it. I don't know what's in that dirt. That dirt may contain peroxide, peroxide, trisumilale, kumala, kikabia. I don't know what that dirt contains, but I know it's whole. I know it came out of the ground. I ain't worried about it. This potato is fucking delicious. And what we got here? A little fucking honey crisp apple. No label. Easy as that, y'all. If you want to buy shit with labels, read the fucking labels. If you don't want to read the labels, buy shit without labels. Whole foods, plant-based, vegan foods. Low fat, low salt, ideally. And make yourself some delicious shit. This right here was a whole craft full of fucking banana smoothie. With, of course, peanut butter powder. Fucking shit's delicious. It's like a goddamn peanut butter milkshake. And I know exactly What's in this? I can pronounce all the ingredients. You got bananas, you got peanut butter powder, you got water, and you got a little bit of sugar. Come on, y'all. This shit is not that hard. This shit is fucking easy. Stop making fucking excuses. Read the labels and buy fucking whole plant foods. Until next time, y'all. Uh, shit's easy. Shit is easy. excuses like comment share this video below give it a thumbs up give it a thumbs down I don't give a fuck and make sure you share this video with your mother your brother your sister your cousin the cat down the road and share it in a motherfucking Facebook group y'all we support gay marriage hope you do too peace y'all peace